Give the law. Suppose you are working on a production support project, job got failed. How you will handle that? Okay, so you have to click on right click on the aborted job, view law. So here you have to study the pattern level. Okay, so here you have to study the pattern level. Here job got failed. Okay, so if you are working on a production support uh, project, your job got failed. Okay, so here you have to uh, go to the job, you right click, aborted job, right click, uh, view log. And it will be open. So let's see the latest uh, filter out entries last time. Okay. So here you can see at the fatal error, what is this? So here let's see what happens here. What is this error? I will copy it in a notepad. What is this error, guys? File name already exists. Hmm? What is this error? So it is saying that uh, the object is already exist. Error, the object is already exist. That means the table name that we are going to create in data state job. Okay, so that table is already exist here. So here table action I have given create. Already when you use when I use create, it should not be present. The table should not be present, but table is there already here. Okay, so if the table is already there and if you are trying to create the same table name, the job has been failed. What is the error, error message that is it has been thrown? So this object is already exists. Object means the table is already exist. Okay, you can see this uh, error. Okay. Now what you can do? You can change it to replace. So replacements what? Replacements. It will drop the existing uh, table and create the new table with the new structure. Okay. Now click on OK. Save, compile, and re register. So here, let's monitor it. So now let's see the data in the okay? So actually, earlier it was five columns, right? Why it is uh, eight columns now? What is the reason? What is the reason? Because we enabled RCB. Yes, correct. We have enabled RCP. Okay. So that is the reason here eight columns are. Okay. That's the case. Right.